Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi goes here, the Crypto Pie. And obviously we had a big move guys in the whole crypto market. So that's why I'm going to talk about both Ethereum and Bitcoin and just tell you guys what's going on. All right, let's anyways, um, let's get started here on Bitcoin first. Uh, so I said guys, if there's a big move happening, you know, I will talk about it because um, obviously, well, um, this was very, I mean, not, not that much expected, right? Uh, I definitely didn't think that the fifth wave would be this small. Okay, so if we throw this into Elliott Wave perspective here, on the one hour, guys, because this is just a, you know, just a quick video, guys. I need to uh, get going soon. But, um, so let me just quickly map it out, right? So if this is your one, this is your two, then this is your three, all right? Um, whether it's up here or something like that, four, and then this is your five, right? So that the fifth wave is very, very, very small. But, it's definitely done now, right? Um, this whole structure is done. Okay, so considering the fact that's done, I already took my Fibonacci from the swing low to swing high. Um, you can see that we're holding right now on the 0.5 and we also have this, this trend line established a little bit here, right? Uh, it's very rough, uh, but you guys know how, how diagonal lines work. They are pretty rough, but you know, the 0.5 is holding pretty nicely. Um, if this is your one, well, if, if we fall lower, uh, the, the 618 right here, right, uh, is a good area that could hold for a potential further upswing. If not, guys, we could see us going all the way back down here and testing this channel support once again. Um, and that means that the other video I made about Ethereum going to $200 um, is delayed, right? It's definitely delayed to go to $200. That's because of the big down move that would, uh, that happened. Um, so that is on Bitcoin guys, uh, you know, it's, it's all pretty simple to look at, uh, if you look at it this way, right? Um, so right now what I would be looking for is a short opportunity. Okay. Not so much a long opportunity because this, this is uh, super indicative. Uh, this, this, um, long candle, red candle, um, uh, massive volume guys, look at the volume, right? Let me just drag this up. Here's the volume here. So if you thought that our long volume was massive here, look at the shorting volume, the selling, right? That is way bigger, okay? That tells me that we are still correcting here and uh, we definitely need to go lower, okay? So I'm definitely looking for a shorting opportunity. Well, what would be a good opportunity to go short, right? Well, on Bitcoin, I'd say that's around this area, right? So uh, I can obviously get rid of these red things here. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, around here would be a good shorting opportunity, right? Um, put this at 6,000 so it stretches out. Okay, so yeah, right around that area is a good shorting opportunity, okay? So what what is that? If you, if you take a look at Fibonacci, well, let's take this swing, swing. So roughly that's not even at the 382 eh, you know it's kind of iffy as well to already go short here i much rather do it up here but nonetheless guys you need to keep this area in mind okay so that's bitcoin for you now let's take a look at ethereum it's all very similar anyways so let's go onto the ethereum chart here ethereum usd i already drawn it out if you one two there's your three four and that's your five right if this is your five okay so obviously my resistance was a little bit higher um i got stopped out here boop you know it, it plopped me out um out of my long and uh well now i'm looking for a short opportunity because of the simple fact that uh i do think that we will go lower okay i don't think this is done yet with just one massive uh candle down even though i do need to keep in mind that this could be uh, what what we saw here, right? We went up, and then we went down, okay? And then we went back up, okay? But there's a big difference as well, because we were at the top of this channel here. We're not at the top of the channel here, right? We already went through the middle part of it again, and uh, it's just a l way different, okay? It's a different structure, so I don't really want to compare it to that. I know fractals exist, but this, I don't see this as a fractal. Some people do, um, I just don't, okay? Everyone looks at the market a different way. Um, so that is how I see Ethereum right now. 
Um, the same thing here applies here, right? You have this trend line. If this could hold, you could go for a little long swing, but don't expect new highs, okay? Um, definitely don't expect new highs. Take your profit quickly. It's a quick scalp if you do do this. Um, that's why I have this uh, alert here. I also have an alert set. If you go on to 15 minute alert set on the RSI, if we get oversold, I'll start looking at it and maybe go for a quick long scalp before I go for a short for the bigger picture, right? Um, that's my plan. Uh, so hopefully I can catch it. Um, I will need to execute it from my phone. So um, yeah, it, it will be all a, a little bit different, but um, who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. I just have alert set and we'll see what happens. Okay. So that's Ethereum and Bitcoin for you guys. Just a quick update. Um, nothing more than that. I hope you guys are safe and you, you're not in a big loss because even if you bought here, right? Uh, you know, this is where I got back into the trade myself, right? On, on this last, actually this, this last, uh, downward. And then I, you know, it, it went up and then it stopped me out like somewhere here. So whatever, right? under my uh, red area actually so you know that's that's still a good profit guys okay you cannot complain about six seven percent um that's profit okay we simply weren't at, at that target yet that i wanted to be so it, it's still profit okay profits profit um happy with it so now you know you just need to start forming your next plan of action that you're gonna put on to the market okay so that's that guys also uh, join up with the CryptoPies block where you can ask me any questions, ask other people questions, and it's just a great chat box to be in, right? So let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, uh, just out for a few days, guys. But uh, so uh, thanks for joining. So yeah, join up with this, guys. Um, you can ask just anyone questions here. Also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, post about upcoming ICOs, STOs, but at the moment, just don't expect any of them because we are still in a bear market. And when we're in a bear market, that means you will get bearish returns. Okay, um, we could obviously see that we're in a bear market with the candle that we got yesterday, right? Um, that is definitely a very bearish candle that you just don't. Um, it's kind of crazy, right? That candle. Um, you know, a big, oh, I, I believe. It was like eight percent in half an hour or something. My my alarm, my alarms were going off and whatnot, and I was like, "Whoa, what's going on with the market?" Right? I got obviously got stopped out, so I need to look at my trade, etc. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on right now, guys. Uh, also, guys, I am now on D Live, right? D Live TV is basically um, it's like the Twitch. Um, you know, you all know Twitch now because I've been doing, I've done some streams on there, um, and uh, I also upload my videos on D Live now. So it's it's Twitch and YouTube in one, but it's on the blockchain, right? They use they make use of the Lino blockchain. Lino is still in test net, but uh, I definitely purchased some Lino because I I see a future in here, right? It's a proof of stake um, blockchain, so. You know, check it out for yourself, guys. I will make a separate video about Lino when I'm back, and uh, yeah, to show you guys all what's up there. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, check check out uh, D Live, guys. D Live TV. All right. So um, the yeah, that's that. Um, also, guys, uh, let's see. Yeah, follow me on Twitter, which is twittercom pygos Follow me on Twitch, which is twitchtv pygos I might be completely moving to D Live though. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and of course, you know, follow me on D Live, which is D Live TV slash Pygos. I, I post all my videos there. I post, uh, and I'm going to live stream there as well. Maybe even uh, live stream some trades. Uh, you know, so uh, we'll, we'll have to see about that. But um, that'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be it'd be fun to do. So um, then maybe you can see some live trading in action, right? So uh, look forward to that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.